Hey, what's up, everybody? Z here today to talk about what happened to my showpiece Aquapora colony.、Um, and in this one, Sans Emily,、uh, I started bleaching, and、uh, although it's slowing down right now, but、uh, yeah, I think half of it already bleached out.、Um, hopefully,、uh, rest of this, rest of it is fine. It's gonna be fine.、Um, I did frag、uh, a few colonies off it.、Uh, the frags are fun, so I'm pretty sure、um, this should happen after. So yeah, let's just let's talk about、um, what mistake I made or things I regret to do、um, that eventually put this tank on downhill or eventually kind of kill this colony.、Um, yeah. So yeah, those mistakes are not really kind of ranked by big or small. It just follows the timeline. Well, I think my tank or colonies were out of control.、Um, yeah, so I'm as I'm talking about it, I'm just gonna kind of、uh, just roaming around the tank and、uh, yeah. So I think the first sign. A problem where the the triggering of my mistakes was around、uh, last June or July, twenty twenty one, which is last year.、Uh, around that time, when I first spotted a little bit of whitening、um, in the valley part of the Sunset Mini,、um, I kind of mentioned it in、uh, one of the videos. But yeah, I mean. That's the that's kind of、uh, the sign that triggered,、um, and I started to do all, all sorts of changes depending on what I think the issue was, and not really you know realizing that the colony was actually growing and growing fast.、Uh, so first thing I did、uh, was to change up the flow,、um, because back then I thought the issue was the flow. Uh, since the colony is getting really bigger,、uh, the amount of flow could reach to the center was very small,、um, and、uh, yeah, here comes here comes the biggest mistake. I blast the co、uh, colony with a very strong flow,、um, till I see tissue being damaged by the flow.、Uh, if you remember, I kind of used a, a stream、uh, Tanzi Stream Three. A large wave maker, kind of、uh, almost、uh, direct hitting this、uh, colony.、Uh, yeah. So and then、uh, when I found the tissue damaged by the flow, I started to change up the pumps. You know, changing position of the pump. And、uh, yeah, and I've been like consistently adjusting it. And the polyp extension wasn't really good since then, and、uh, which polyp extension. It's the sign that I used to judge how well a coral,、uh, a coral is doing in my tank. So yeah, to sum up the first mistake here,、um, I blast the coral with a very strong flow, and I continue to mess around with the flow. Yeah,、uh, I think the lesson learned here:、uh, there are two. First,、uh, don't fix it if it's not broken, and second one,、uh, flow can be too strong, indeed. Um, yeah, so that's the first big mistake.、Uh, second big mistake was that I somehow thought I needed a GFO. So simply because I had a GFO sitting in the corner for like a big while, and I just wanted to use it up. So I think back then、um, I did not have any successful. I, did, I, I did not have any success with、uh, Cheto, and left my refugee empty for a while. So I thought,、uh, you know, I might just want to knock down the fast very quickly, and then I added the GFO.、Um, but、uh, I also replenished the、uh, refuel at the same time. So, and furthermore,、uh, this is like the first time my tank water、uh, had a GFO. So I believe、um, it just removed too much of nutrient, and my torch started to die. So. Yeah,、um, and since my torch was kind of really big, 
Um, I would say bigger than this colony here, even bigger than this colony, kind of, that was the biggest like uh, torch here. Um, and it started to melt and it literally started the chemical warfare uh, because, you know, and like all the coral start to react to the chemicals that torch literally into the water. So uh, all the coral start to fight each other and they kill each other. And this caused a kind of a massive bleaching event. Um, and that was kind of in, yeah, like all the base of this Miyagi tour kind of widened. Though I, 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 I did save a, a few, like huge colonies anyway. Um, yeah, so I think that was the benchmark of my tank officially going south. Uh, to sum up the mistake here, um, I made a big change uh, trying to fix phosphate in a quick way, aka I wanted a fix, uh, quick fix. So lesson learned here, uh, never wanting a quick fix. Uh, quick sin or quick fix, never, never good. So uh, third mistake uh, was that I started get lazy on uh, dipping corals. So now I hadn't had any issue with coral parasite or pest uh, for a while. I kind of just shortened the dipping time. Uh, I used to um, dip coral about like 15 minutes, then uh, 15 minutes became five minutes. And I stopped blasting coral while dipping. Essentially, I just, uh, you know, uh, stopped paying attention on dipping. Uh, despite the fact that I knew it was important um, and thinking, you know, there's nothing can be there if I'm already, add, I'm already adding uh, corals without plugs uh, and look what I got, aquarium box. So came on the tissue. So yeah, uh, lesson learned here, never go cheap on dipping, just spend the time. Um, yeah, so you don't want to risk all the corals. Uh, in your system, well, unless you're adding, well, I'm, yeah, there's not unless. Um, last one, you know, it might not be the main factor responsible for some of the issue I have. Uh, and this might be more, this might more like, uh, you know, the things that I regret to do. Uh, I start to uh, change things, you know, I use just because a lot of other people are using it. Uh, example, uh, was the water mixing trash cans. I was using the uh, black rubber made trash can and I had been using it for like more than a year without any issues. And then I saw everybody else was using a uh, gray brute trash can and then I swapped it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I introduced some stuff into the tank just because the, uh, I know the residue on the uh, new plastic. Yeah. So those things just makes me uh, harder to pinpoint issues. Um, and also everybody is having different livestock, feeding different food, uh, using different equipments, running different lights, uh, having different flow. And essentially this will cause the tank to be dramatically different. You know, end up having uh, different food chains in the system. Yeah, I mean, this might also, you know, be the reason some people has very little of certain organisms and um, and some people uh, have a lot of them. So, for instance, um, vermin snail. Um, I did not have too much in my tank before, but now after, you know, the interceptor treatment, uh, it changed the whole food chain in my tank. Now I start to see uh vermintis snail popping everywhere i mean yeah so i guess listen learn here is that uh keep your way of reefing if it works for you just don't don't change it uh all righty uh that's all the mistakes i uh, most regret making so far and the lessons that i learned uh, maybe more coming but uh, yeah for now that's all for the video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.